Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about some important tips with respect to creating resumes for data scientist and data analyst position. Along with that, I will be providing you a repository of many resumes with, that are related to data science, machine learning engineers or big data engineers or data analytics, right? So all these resumes will also be shared with you. Uh, but before I go ahead, I really want to talk about some of the important points that you should definitely specify in your resume with respect to projects, with respect to skill sets. Again, many people may have, Krish, how should I present my projects in a resume? How should I write it? All those things I'll be discussing. And at the end of the day, if you're watching this video, guys, trust me, a lot of knowledge you'll be able to gain. So let me go ahead and share my screen quickly before I start. One important thing that I really need to talk about is that, see, resume format can be very different, right? Different, different formats will definitely be there. But when considering the format, I'll not give much importance on that, but I will give importance on some of the content that I specifically write in the resume itself. So I'm going to define or divide this into some, uh, some categories. One is the skill set. Second is role and responsibilities okay role and responsibilities third end-to-end -end projects that you have specifically done okay fourth okay uh let's say you have participated in some kind of hackathons i'm not talking about certifications and all but definitely hackathon some amazing achievements some things that you have created some uh, globally uh, kind of awards that you have, uh, have you have got you can specifically write those things over here right like awards and achievements right so these are some of the things that you should definitely and always write uh, in your resume along with this as i always say three important things is required and you should also be putting your github link your linkedin right uh, or any social media like YouTube also can be mentioned if you are probably doing some open source contribution and this awards and achievement you can also include open source contribution open source contribution is quite amazing right so you can also probably include that specific thing over here okay now with respect to skill set okay what all skill sets you specifically know be very much frank with that and always remember your skill sets once you probably see the job opportunity, see, I know you, first of all, you need to create a generic resume where you write all the skill sets that is basically you are actually having, you have actually achieved, right? But at the end of the day, also please go ahead and see the job description and try to update your resume. Let's say here, if I probably written some generic skill sets, let's say Python, ML, right? NLP, right? Let's say um, generative AI okay now let's say there is a requirement only with respect to generative ai like llm models and all so what i can specifically do i can edit this part and probably write more about generative ai and there are there are various apis like open ai api itself you probably know that specific thing uh let's say you also know some more things that are related to hugging face hugging face library you know how to use it right you can write all those things right so always try to make sure that you modify a bit based on the job description it will hardly take some amount of time yeah i'll be seeing see many people will probably say Krishna, it is not possible whenever you are applying any job you know always try to update the resume and probably put it down over there okay that again i'm telling you guys uh, it is hardly if you have a generic resume you just need to update this kind of contents okay so skill sets more you can probably write deep learning machine learning whatever things you write or github actions deployments ml ops ml ops is also cool right but always try to write those things which you are very good at okay now roles and responsibilities these are some generic roles and responsibilities that you specifically do in the companies okay uh, but always remember there are two ways you know one roles and responsibilities you can keep in a generic way the other way is that you can probably write along with this projects right so whenever you do a specific whenever you write a project in your resume 
your project roles and responsibility whatever you have specifically done in that particular project you can integrate both of them and you can probably write it but always remember with respect to project you should definitely define goals right goals or vision what you really want to achieve because i've i'm i've hardly seen some of the resume which is probably written something goals or vision about it you know let's say uh i'll probably say that okay i had a uh i had some kind of website on that i used some recommendation system and what that recommendation system actually helped us to do it tried to, our main aim was to increase the revenue increase the visits of the site right the users uh, who were visiting the site actually increased by 5% by 10% you know we probably tried to save the company's money you know we tried to automate some of the things right we try to use our team in a much more collaborative way some goals or visions is very much uh, important i'm not worried about what project name and all are there but if you specifically write all the roles and responsibilities before that you just start with goals or vision what all things you are able to achieve let's say your visions your goal basically says there are three points that i wanted to achieve and these all three points were we were able to achieve it right because here you are specifically talking more about the business okay the business business what business impact you are basically creating right obviously it should be a positive impact no negative impact okay no negative impact always a positive impact so that vision you specifically need to specify in roles and responsibility and end to end project again guys the weightage right most of the weightage because in interviews also they specifically ask about your roles and responsibility and what end-to-end -end project you have done so i would always suggest give 50 percentage of weightage in this specific topic so whatever format of resume you specifically take you need to explain them this specific thing in a better way uh, and trust me with respect to selecting your resume the probability will be very high this is what many people are lacking right with respect to end-to-end -end projects itself right then skill set skill set obviously i would definitely give this around 30 percent you know 30 percent weightage because what all skills what all skills are actually required it should always match the jd you know by that specifically your profile will be shortlisted much more frequently right awards and achievement like open source contribution hackathons right you can basically write about hackathons right you can talk about multiple things what you have specifically done for the ai community right let's say before when i used to work in companies like honeywell and panasonic when i was working in panasonic i was writing that specific i, I was writing a book okay which was python with finance so i specifically had written in my resume so when the interviewer saw that right he was like oh you're writing this specific book obviously he was impressed by that and without thinking anything right uh, he just gave me the offer letter with respect to panasonic so it, all in short i'm saying that it will add some important uh important points for you with respect to getting selected right almost i've covered everything guys again i'm not creating any formats as such uh, one of the basic format is that uh, I'll, I'll just draw it over here so that you'll be able to understand so let's say this is your resume okay this is your resume and in this specific resume let's say this is your name right here you are basically writing about the skill set so this left side will be completely skill set here uh, let's say about me something like this right i'm just defining some things right and then here about your projects right so one more point was that your company name right with respect to your company name the fifth point your previous company name or whether you are a fresher internship right whatever all the details you need to write it properly <coughs> along with roles and responsibilities right so these are some of the important things now comes the most interesting thing because many people do usually ask me about krish do you have any sample resume so what i have done is that in my github repository in the grand complete data science material i've up i've started uploading material uh, resumes with respect to data engineers uh, different different years of experience right so this will be super helpful for you all so that you can probably check it out uh, if you want to go much more deep uh, dive inside this resumes what i will do i will just show you let's consider this one data science let's say four plus years and this is uh, like a kind of resume uh, which is created in a generic way so don't call the number and all something like that just to give you an idea 
what are the contents what all things specifically has been written right so all those information is basically there right certificate skills interest something 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 so you can basically check out the format but at the end of the day the content is very much important right so considering this in this repository i've included around 9 to 10 resumes for you with different different formats and different different content you can select one of them and you can modify based on your needs so ml engineers is also there so nitish kumar is one unknown character okay so you can see oh x y don't call it okay this number is not valid so here you'll be able to see ml engineers this 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 company name some projects what all things you specifically done you know something like that right so all this repository will be available to you just go to the link the link will be given in the description <coughs> one important thing is that many people say krish i cannot download this pdf guys clone the entire repository there are a lot of materials that is given to you right so yes this was it for my side i hope you like this specific video and yes happy dashera uh, which is going to come now and i hope you enjoy with your family a lot yes this was it for my side i will see you on the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye take care yes